The Bell V280 Valor is an American tilt rotor that combines the individual advantages of an airplane and a helicopter. It was officially introduced by the American company Bell Helicopter in 2013 at an exhibition in Fort Worth, Texas and has since undergone a number of tests and upgrades. Bell V280 Valor has both high speed and excellent takeoff and landing characteristics. To begin with, let's figure out what is known about the V280 Valor and start with the abbreviation V280, in which V stands for vertical takeoff, 280 cruising speed of 280 knots, 520 kilometers per hour. The maximum speed of the tilt rotor can reach 300 knots, 556 kilometers per hour, the flight range is 3,900 kilometers, and the effective combat range is from 930 to 1,480 kilometers, depending on the load. The maximum takeoff weight is about 14,000 kilograms. The fuselage is visually similar to the UH-60 Black Hawk, but with retractable landing gear. This is a modern multi-purpose helicopter, which is designed on the basis of the concept of a rotary rotor and is intended for military missions. The aircraft is equipped with two engines located at the ends of the wing in nacelles, which significantly improves its maneuverability and stability in the air. One of the main differences from the V-22 Osprey is that the engines stay in place during the transition from vertical to horizontal flight and back, only the rotors and drive shafts tilt. In case of failure of one of the engines, a cardan shaft passes through the straight wing, which allows both rotors to be driven from one power plant. In addition, the Bell V280 Valor has a good aerodynamic shape. Another innovation that qualitatively distinguishes Valor from its predecessor is the materials used in the construction. The wing is made of a polymer composite reinforced with carbon fiber, which has reduced weight and manufacturing costs. The main feature is the transitional plane between the plane of rotation and the plane of flight, which allows the helicopter to reach high speeds. Particular attention was paid to the reduction in weight compared to the V-22, which in turn would lead to a reduction in cost. For this purpose, composite materials are widely used in the wing, fuselage, and tail unit. The skin and ribs of the wings are made of sheets with a honeycomb structure and carbon cores. Thanks to these innovations, costs have been reduced by more than 30% compared to the V-22 wing. The cab windows are made of panoramic glass, which provides the driver and passengers with excellent visibility. The aerodynamically optimized design allows the helicopter to gain speed quickly and use less energy to maintain flight. The tilt rotor can fly at speeds up to 520 km per hour, the combat range is 1,480 km, and the ferry range reaches 3,900 km. The Bell V280 Valor has a crew of four, and the troop compartment can accommodate up to 14 fully equipped soldiers. Roomy cockpits and state-of-the-art communication systems allow for full teamwork, which increases the efficiency and safety of missions. Interior features include seats. They have connectors for powering radio stations for pilots and troops, night vision goggles and other electronic equipment, as well as displays for displaying three-dimensional TVD maps. On December 5, 2022, the Bell V-280 was selected by the U.S. Department of Defense as the long-range troop transport helicopter of the U.S. Armed Forces. The contract is valued at $1.3 billion and the new Bell V-280s will replace about 2,000 UH-60 Black Hawk helicopters currently in service by 2030. The Bell V280 Valor has an advanced electronic control system and numerous automatic devices that greatly simplify the operation of this helicopter. The DAWS, Pilotage Distributed Aperture Sensor, system provides the crew with real-time all-round visibility. It is also equipped with modern weapons and protection systems. When landing, the propeller wing is located at a height of more than 2.1 meters from the ground, which will enable soldiers to easily get out of the two side doors, and the side gunners received wider firing angles. The external cargo hooks of the V-280 provide a lifting capacity of up to 4.5 tons, which allows you to transport the M777A2 howitzer at a flight speed of 280 km per hour. However, as for the transportation of cargo on suspensions, the developers believe that special vehicles should be used for such tasks, for example, the Sikorsky CH-53K King Stallion. The initial project of the Bell Company was aimed at creating a vehicle for the delivery of troops and supplies. However, the engineers assured the military that work on creating a shock version is at the final stage. The new AV-280 shock model will be able to launch missiles, drop bombs, and even launch small UAVs without interfering with forerotors, even in level flight.